How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of kettle sour jams. Fruited kettle sour jams in a form of Brick City Brewing. It's their Acid Blend BPM. This is a, let's see, ba -ba 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 -ba, kettle sour ale coming in at 6.25% alcohol by volume. Uh, it doesn't tell you on here, I don't believe. Brewed with lactose, conditioned on blueberry puree, peach, and mango puree. Puree. So there you go. Blueberry BPM. Hmm. Acid Blend BPM makes me think of raves and techno music. How would I know about that? I did that shit for many years. I was a DJ up and down the East Coast playing all kinds of weird electronic music that no one liked. It's pretty awesome. Um, label wise, it's alright. You know what I mean? It's just big letters and pictures of fruit on it. Now that looks like a fruit smoothie. Um, kind of what they're going for. I mean, it's one of those kind of lactose laden kettle sour fruit smoothie jams, the ones that'll blow up if you don't keep them refrigerated. Um, and it looks the part. The head doesn't have this creaminess to it. It's kind of dissipating really quick. That's probably a combination of your sourness, your kettle sour, in combination with all the adjuncts thrown in there. But, I mean, she looks like a berry juice. She looks like a jamba juice, kind of big, huge, you know, fruit smoothie kind of vibe going on. So, yeah. Let's see if we get a nose. I mean, you get a, you definitely get a lactose. That's leading the way. It's not overly powerful. It's not super heavy-handed. It's just that's the biggest note for me. There's a, almost like a soft, generic kind of fruited vibe. It's leaning berry. It's not getting those mangoes aren't coming up. Those blueberries aren't coming up kind of crazy. Um, it's more of like a, somewhere between a berry and a peach thing with the mango falling far behind. Soft sweetness to it. A little bit of kind of grainy, weedy maltiness to it. Wheat y not weedy. Yeah, I mean, she smells nice. There's a little bit of sulfur vibes on there, too. Get that every now and then from Kettle Sours. Let's see what she's got. Cheers. I mean, it kind of leans heavily into the blueberry and lactose. There's a big pop of a bitterness in there. Cereal grain vibe. So you're getting... Wow, man, that's a really bitter component. Hmm. There's this striking bitterness that hits you in the back and lingers and kind of pops. While you're actually, you've swallowed, everything's gone, but every now and then you get this little head of this bitterness. It's got to be like a mango skin thing. It has to, because mango skin can be really aggressive bittering if you leave that on a mango. I believe that's where that's coming from. I don't know if I hate it. I don't know if I necessarily like it either. Um, but it adds an element to it that's not too bad, um, but also not great. It's kind of weird. Um, anyway. What do we have here? Leaning into blueberries, which isn't overly powerful. It's a hard fruit to kind of get this big vibrance from. So leaning into blueberries, not too heavily handed. Um, well, at the same time, having that lactose almost as equal as that, not too heavily handed. That peach kind of is more on the nose thing than in the taste. And the mango really isn't there in the taste. Maybe a little bit of soft kind of tropical fruit tartness, but it really comes through in that little bit of bittering pop, I assume, is coming from a mango skin. Big cereal grains in this. And so you're getting those cereal grains with that little bit of soft tartness. Done and done. Is this one of the better kettle sour fruit smoothie lactose jams I've had as of late? Um, it's on the outside looking in for me. It just it's a little bit too disjointed for me to really kind of get down with. Um, I don't mind it. It's not a bad beer, but all those flavors come off very singular for me. They come off a little bit kind of individual pieces as as opposed to being melded together. And, it, 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 well, not a negative beer, not a bad beer, just kind of doesn't hit the mark for me. I'm not the biggest f fruit smoothie fans when it comes to this kind of kettle sour stuff. Um, but when they're done right, I really do dig them. It's just, for me, this one's just not not up there with some of the better ones that I've had. Value availability, uh, it's bricks. Uh, I know their stuff does hit the market. I'm not sure what hits the market, but they can be found. Price points usually market value and leave you with, if you like what we well, like this beer, uh, you like new school lactose space kettle sours um and you want something a little bit different it's not going to be super fruit forward it's not overly sweet which i can appreciate it but like i said the flavors are very distinct and individual and it's not super cohesive but if fruits fruited lactose sours are your jam this might do your proper there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and Hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little yeah, fruited sour right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.